sing you a song about race courses, um, but before I do that, I thought I'd tell you about the work of the famous sociologist Peter Berger, since we're having a lot of Berger jokes at the moment, you know, Habsburger sort of jokes. Right? Um, Peter Berger, the sociologist, the famous renowned sociologist in the United States and indeed around the world. Um, developed in the latter part of the 20th century um, a theory about um, role play within human societies. Put simply, the roles we play quite naturally as we go about our day within a city perhaps. He felt that there were um, good reasons to think of um, roles as an expression of many selves within the nature of our feelings about personhood. Uh, roles were like repertoires um, that are developed by different categories of person. Um, think of a category of a person as being like a card in a card deck and the card has a series of emotional expressions and roles do as well. You know. So this, um, this sense of personhood, of role play, um, is divided up like a deck of cards with each card being a model of the nature of the emotional expressions we present with at a particular time and place. So a role is dependent on time and place because time and place exist as triggers for the way we present our role based on a scheduling of a script much like a script an actor learns, um, and this script is developed via modelling um, from childhood, adolescence, and into adulthood. Think of human cognition as being, again, like a deck of cards, where each card is describable by the person as a type of characterisation. In this deck, this metaphor, we have a personality of emotional expression. You have um, the Queen of Hearts say. Um, so one might act as Queen of Hearts with a sense of desirability. Again you might have a King of Spades um, in your thoughts and that might dominate um, the other characterizations in this deck of cards within the nature of your thoughts, cognition. So there is um, a feeling of personhood uh, stamped with authority based on empowerment because that essentially is the king of spades. Um, the personhood or role developed may be embellished with the felt sense of uniqueness and indispensability of the character of the ace. Um, there can only be one ace. I know there's four in a deck, but there can only be one of each, yeah? So if we think of personhood or selfdom as being like a set of characters in a game of, say, out of the head, uh, old maid, yeah? If we think of uh, characterization as being like old maid with a series of layered characters, like cards in a deck, then we can see that humans are again a layering of different roles, um, often dependent on time of day and location. Who I am and how I present to other people will be contingent on the roles I develop via the modelling of the plethora of cells that exist in the human family and those proximal as I develop from childhood through adolescence into adulthood. The dimensions of what constitutes a self is regulated by the performance sphere where the person is located. If I am in a shopping centre, for example, then my role is consumer and my purpose is to buy a product. 
If I'm in a library, hmm, then I'm a reader and I may borrow a book. If I'm walking down the street, then I presume I'm a pedestrian and I must cross the road at the pedestrian crossing. Put simply, I am one person with many roles across time and place. So the world I live in regulates how I describe myself as um, a characterization with material artifacts of culture such as the doors of a shopping centre, uh, the windows of a shop, uh, the traffic lights in the street, the roads, buildings, etc. These are the object nouns that control the nature of the subject or theme of subjectivity in my thoughts, my cognitions. Vis a vis, um, they're the object dart to subject of theme relationship. I'm essentially a creature of grammar and the world around me determines what my expressed thoughts will be. Um, this um, world as an aesthetic um, of a mirror about myself was an adage of William Shakespeare, the playwright, who felt strongly that all the world's a stage and we are but merely actors. Um, social actors, realist actors, maybe not stage actors, but we have to live um, a type of act, a type of theatre in life, don't we? Um, one caveat to this pronouncement by William Shakespeare was offered by the uh, literary theorist Valeré, and in, again by later by Terry Eagleton, who recounted time and again to students of literary criticism that the novel is made of many things apart from an author. Put simply, the story is there regardless of the existence of a wordsmith or storyteller. Life goes on even if there is no story to be told. It exists in the unsaid and absences in our daily lives, as Raymond Williams, the social literary theorist, oft enough implied in the representations of feeling as embracing an understandable set of structures. In fact, he called it structures of feeling. We can conject in this um, existence we have perceived of the world, um, of a world without a story, just like the world can exist without need of an author, or indeed a god, both of which are oft enough conceptually conceptual. Sometimes they're seen as the same. Now, I thought I'd sing for you as a demonstration of the uh, multiple roles we can play in life, um, I thought I'd sing for you a, um, a type of mashing together, an intellect, intertextual representation of some of the work of John Paul Young, the famous Australian singer, and Ross Ryan, another Australian singer, and I'd kind of try to wrap around the, um, the song Iron Pegasus with a song about um, race courses and horses. I call the song Get Some Coconut Cream Pie at the Big Glory Hole Race Course. It's um, by Robert Pembroke, uh, 2023 AD. So I'll just put that on for you now, shall I? <laughs> See you then. Oh, God, the apples are great this year, aren't they? Wow. <laughs> I am Mr. Red. Wilbur Spurs horse And I can fly with you But I've changed race course I am the cream pie In Sky Street in your eye And I don't have to leave you No buts and wherefores No whys I am Jenny's sis I have no fear I make my plans in the stand for I made a magic million last year I sign my demeanors up the run And I don't want to leave you Unless you want me gone I am flying by
fuck let me down Oh, I don't need the things that keeps me on the ground It's not too late to know who I am I am close back, there's pants, no shorts And I can fly close in time, but I've changed my mind I am sad, I am a bun, and a little ketchup for fun, and I don't have to leave even you. It's not too late to know who I am. I am Pegasus, my name means horse, and I can fly with you now, but I changed my course. I'll be a tricycle, oh you'll be a bicycle, be Scooter's Tudor for short, and I don't have to leave you, not, 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 no, I am Pegasus. My name means horse, and I can fly with you now, but I've changed my race course. It's uh, my call, it's your call, it's Billy Jason this time after all, and I don't have to leave you, no, 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 no. Thanks, um, Robert Pembroke. Um, a uh, revision of Iron Pegasus. Uh, it's kind of an intertextual version. See you later.